Howdy gang and welcome to your fourth Vue.js tutorial and in this video I want to talk about data binding. Okay, so we've already seen how we can output data from our Vue instance to the DOM. But what if we wanted to do something slightly different? Just imagine this example. I'm going to create another property on this view instance. And this is going to be called website. And it's going to be a link to a website. Let's just go to HTTP and then the netninja.co.uk. Okay. So say, for example, we want to output this link, which is stored on this view instance in a href attribute on a link. Right. So what can we do? Can we do this? H ref equals and then can we output the name of the variable here for example website well let's see what happens if we do that i'll just type the net ninja right there i'm going to get rid of this name as well we don't need that anymore so if i save this now and check this out in a browser we have this link right here but if i inspect this link then we're going to see the href is just equal to website and that's not going to go anywhere if we click that right so it's not grabbed the dynamic website property and put it inside here. Well, you might be saying, well, what if we put it inside curly braces? Save it. Does that work? Well, no, you can see the href right here is still that. And even if we take off these quotations, this is still not going to work. If we save that, you can see it's still not there. So how the heck do we do this? Well, we use what's known as data binding. So if we want to die, uh, bind our data to any kind of attribute like this href attribute, what we need to do is use a directive called v hyphen bind. And the v stands for view. And then we say colon to say what we're binding to. So this is known as a directive, an instruction that tells Vue.js to do something. And in this case, the v bind directive is telling Vue.js to bind this attribute right here to some dynamic data that we have stored on our view instance right here. Okay. And we don't need this curly brace. So we can take those off. But we are going to put this inside quotations like so. So now all we need to do is output the name of the property we want to bind to this attribute. And the name of that property is just website as specified right here. So this time Vue.js Vue sorry, is going to bind this property right here to this href and we can see now we have an href equal to the net ninja .uk for this link so that has worked so that's how we bind our data to different properties okay and there is a shorthand for this it's just colon so we can say colon and the property name and then equal to whatever okay so that still works however I'm going to use v hyphen bind for the majority of this series just to be explicit in what I'm doing. All right. And it's not just the href attribute that we can bind to. We can bind to different attributes as well. So say, for example, we have an input field, right? And I want to bind something to the value of this input field. Because remember, if I say, let's just say type equals text, first of all. And if I say value equals, I don't know, Sean, right? Then this is going to output in the browser the value of Sean, right? So whatever the value is, is output inside that field, that um, input type. So what if I want to dynamically bind data to that? Well, we can do the same thing. We can say v hyphen bind. And instead of passing through Sean, we're going to pass through the name property. Remember, that name property is right here. Okay. So if we save this now, it's not going to output name in here. It's going to output Sean, which is stored in the name property. Likewise, this could be job, right? So we're binding our data to these different attributes on a element, right? So I want to show you one more thing uh, before we finish up in this tutorial. And that is another way to output a dynamic link using a different directive instead of vbind. So if I come to our view instance, I'm just going to store in here another property. And this is going to be called website tag, right? And this time, I'm going to store the whole string. I'm going to store a HTML string. So the A link itself and the href is going to be equal to double quotes because we don't want to escape out of the single quotes. And it's going to be the same one as this. So let's grab that, copy it and paste it inside here. And then we'll close that off and we'll say ninja website or something or the ninja website. All right. 
So if we close off this A tag now, save that, and what we want to do is output this link to the screen. Well, how do we do that? Because we can't just do this. We can't just come under here and say website tag, right? Because if we do that, all it's going to do is output this as a string to the web to the browser, right? What we want to do is output it as HTML to the DOM so that this is a link. How do we do that? Well, pretty simply, all we need to do is create, for example, a P tag, right? And then we're going to use a directive called V hyphen HTML. And then this is going to be equal to whatever HTML we want to render. Now, our HTML is going to be this thing right here, which is stored on this variable. So let's take that variable and pass it in here. So Vue.js now will say, okay, within this p tag, I know that you want to have this HTML because we've used this vHTML directive, right? So it's going to place it with inside here, all of this HTML. So let's save it and make sure it works. Check this out in the browser. And now we get this link. And if we inspect it, you can see it's going to the right website. So now it's output this HTML to the browser. Okay. So there we go. That is how we bind data to different attributes. In the next tutorial, what I want to show you is how to react to events like click events on the DOM.